Hello and welcome back to my channel. I went Halloween hunting the other day. Uh, what day was it? Let me check my phone calendar uh, with Alyssa. And I I, uh, I took some footage for you and I wanted to kind of take you through what we saw. I can't vlog in stores anymore because last time I did, you could barely hear a Black Eyed Peas song in the background because you know some of these places insist on playing their music at top volume and I got copyright claimed. So I'm just going to have to do the J the Libra method now and just kind of tell you about it and then insert the clips over it. So we went on August 8th and here's what we saw so the first place that we went to was michael's because michael seems to be really late at putting out their halloween stuff this year and i'm telling you they were teasing me because they had all of their fall floral like the wreath making stuff and then in the middle of the fall display was one singular black wreath <laughs> Like one rung of black wreaths and they said Halloween on them like on the tag So I know that they're part of the Halloween collection, but that was it. There was nothing else Halloween in the entire store just that one Rung of black wreaths and I just thought that was like the rudest thing I've ever experienced in my life like Why was that necessary that felt like bullying honestly So then we went to Dollar Tree after and Dollar Tree is very slowly putting out their Halloween stuff this year um, They had sort of one little tiny, tiny section of some of the wood. I don't even know what you use it for. They're like paintable signs or something. They had one little section of the little wood one. So I did buy the witch with the cauldron. I'm just gonna paint her black. And then I bought this mini one that says Wicked. Um, but that was it. They really just had those wood things. They might have had some ribbon, I think, too, and maybe some like Halloween themed tool. Uh, but for the most part, it was just those wood things place that we really found the most Halloween was PetSmart, which I thought was so weird, but I was so excited about it. Anyway, they had so many cat and dog toys. So I actually did buy one of the cat houses. It's like a little tent and it's orange with bats on it. And then I also bought, they had like a cat tube and it's or, or black with uh, candy corn all over it. I bought that for my sister because she really wanted it for her cats. Right now she's got four cats in her apartment. So believe me, it's very used. Um, they had so many toys. They had this one dog toy and it was uh, like a Venus flytrap and I thought it was so cool. They had so many costumes, but then they also had so many like shirts and like head gear, if you will, for dogs. They had like the, you know, your, your typical little pumpkin hat, but then they also had like a Venus flytrap hat. They had like a lion mane. They had all of that stuff. So many cute little cat toys, so many cute little dog toys that crinkle. They had those dog toys that like look shocked, but then the dog can rip them open and there's a smaller toy inside. So like the one that I liked the best was a werewolf head and then they, they ripped it open and the toy inside was the moon. That sort of thing. I just love that. They also had this really interesting Nightmare Before Christmas display that had like an Oogie Boogie. It had like the mayor with the two faces, a little zero. And they had an Oogie Boogie that had like the bug sticking out of it, which I really, I thought that was neat. And that's all the Halloween we saw that day. So I'm hoping to either go to, I'm hoping to go to HomeSense and Dollarama sometime within the next couple of days. Because I haven't checked there in about two weeks. And I know HomeSense had started, if you recall, um, putting out their Halloween stuff. They had those, uh, the, the, the bride and groom skeleton on motorcycles and then my sister went back a couple days later and they had like some ghost looking buckets so hopefully they'll have some and then if you also recall Dollarama had the beginnings of their fall stuff out like two weeks ago so I'd like to go back there and check they're opening a oh, spirit Halloween this year in that mall that has the the winners that I always go to and the Dollarama and then the home senses across the street so I'm very excited about that because historically the Spirit Halloween has been in an, another location that's kind of hard for me to get to by myself um, but this Spirit Halloween I'll be able to get to all by myself so we're, I'm, I can't wait like I'll go there the opening morning of course and then I'm sure Alyssa and I will go to the other one as well because she's like the only person I do things with anymore which I don't mind we've been friends for like 10 years I mean we just hang out it's a lot of fun but that's why if you see a lot a lot of Alyssa in my videos, it's because she's like my only friend that I'm not blood related to. So today is actually a very exciting day. What is today? Today's the 14th and um, you might have noticed that there's no bed in my room. That is because, okay, <laughs> to make a long story short, my grandmother died a little over a week ago. Very sad, yes. Um, and um, her bed was basically brand new. She didn't die in it. She died in the hospital, but her bed was basically brand new and it was a very expensive bed. And my bed was falling apart, okay? Like, people, I don't have chairs in my room, obviously, because why would I have chairs in my room? I'm, I'm in a wheelchair. They would just be in my way. But when Alyssa comes over or Sam's here or something, they have nowhere to sit in here to just hang out. And my bed was falling apart. They couldn't sit on it. Sam sat on it once and fell right through, basically. Um, so 
TLDR, grandmother died, I'm getting her bed frame. So my stepdad took my bed down and they just went to go to the retirement home where my grandmother was living to go take that bed apart and come back here and put it up. Apparently it's really tall and that does give me some anxiety, but it is basically a brand new mattress because she hardly ever used it. Um, it'll be a brand, a brand new bread, brand new, hello, a brand new bed frame that people can actually sit on. So I am getting a new bed. I'm excited about that. I'm mainly excited about it just so that people can sit in my room. You know what I mean? Even though it is, it looks like a disaster zone right now. It's not doing very well. I think that's all I had to tell you. I wanted to tell you about Halloween hunting. I wanted to tell you about me getting a new bed, even though you don't really need to know, but I just figured you'll see that there's a new bed and I wanted to address it before it got there. Depending on how long they take with my bed, because I don't want to just like piece to go to the dollar store in the middle of my room being renovated, you know what I mean? Um, so depending on how long that takes, we'll go today, and if not, we'll go tomorrow, and if not, we'll go Monday. Um, but I actually don't know, that's a week now since we went to Michael's. Do you, think, do you think they have Halloween there yet? Actually, the most interesting thing about Michael's is that when we were there last week, I asked the girl at the checkout, I said, hey, do you have any idea when you guys are gonna get Halloween stuff? And she said, I've answered two calls about that just today, and I was neither of those calls. So it's, <laughs> it's not just me. Okay, someone else in this area is a weirdo as well. How may I help you? Hi, I'm just wondering, do you guys have any of your Halloween stuff out yet? Uh, we have a couple pillows um, and some Halloween makeup kind of thing, but that's all we've got so far. Okay, do you have any idea when you guys are going to start getting, like, the spooky town stuff? No, unfortunately, we have no idea. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Have a good night. You too. Okay, bye. And makeup and stuff. No, you always have the Snazaru makeup. That's not Halloween. You always have that. Okay, so Michael's doesn't have anything. So that saves me going to that area. Um, so we'll just go to the other area. Okay, so I put on mascara and filled in my eyebrows because today we're going to go check out Dollarama again and Home Sense. I might go to Winners just for good measure, but I can't see them having anything yet. Um, they really didn't even get anything last year, so I'm not too... Uh, too hopeful. Hopefully Dollarama has something. Winners, or Home Sense should have something. So that's what we're gonna do. Um, and I'm looking forward to it. Let's go. So, major code orange at Home Sense. I'm talking so much Halloween stuff. Like four, four aisles of Halloween and it was lots of pumpkins, velvet pumpkins, shiny pumpkins, oil slick pumpkins. Hold on, I'm passing the camera. Everything that we want to do, obviously, is going to be Lots of skeleton, bride and groom stuff. Um, lots of skeleton... Uh, there was like a skeleton thing where he was holding up two... I would say they're like tea light holders. Skeleton wreaths, that sort of thing. Um, and lots of really cute witch stuff. There was a little witch sign that had like a witch silhouette. And it said, come fly with me. Which obviously makes me think of the song and I just loved it. If I had a place to put it, I would put it... I would buy it and put it there. Um, they also had this beautiful witch with a cat sitting on a moon, like a crescent moon. And I, I, I'm going into the mall now, so I don't want. I didn't want to buy it, but honestly, I might go back and buy it before I go home because I think that's one of the things that I feel like I would have buyers from worse if I didn't buy her. Like I have nowhere to put her, but I just think she's beautiful, and I really want her. They also had another witch, and she was like a little more of an old lady, but she still looked nice, and she was churning a cauldron. There was no cat on that one and no moon, so I don't love it as much. Um, but yeah, they also had, whoop, crossing the road. Thank you. God, what else did they have? They had so much stuff. They also had like a standing plush of Jack, some other standing skeletons and stuff. Um, oh, they had this beautiful LED light up in some sort of a spooky house. I thought it was so pretty. It was like orange and gray. Um, well, again, that's the sort of thing that I would totally buy if I had somewhere to put it. The only reason I'll ever move out is so that I have somewhere to put all my spooky purchases. Um, that one was beautiful. I love that one. But I might go back for the witch. I don't think I'd go back for the house. But I can't think of anything else right now. But I'll just keep showing you the clips because I took a lot of footage in there. There was a lot of people, and there was a lot of people looking at the sort of Thanksgiving fall stuff. So it's not just me. I mean, I was looking at the Halloween stuff. They were looking at the more general fall stuff. But still, there was a lot. I, that was more, way more than I expected to see. Um, so now we're going to go to the dollar store. 
Okay, I have returned home. So the last couple of stores that we went to, we went to Dollarama first, and I was quite impressed because they definitely do have the start of their Halloween stuff. They still have half an aisle of Canada Day, which I think is weird. Like, at, at some point, you just gotta, you know, cut your losses. Um, but they're definitely starting to put Halloween stuff out. It's very funny because it's sort of sprinkled in the aisle that still has the gardening stuff in it. So it's very funny. It's like Halloween and then gardening and Halloween and gardening. Um, but they had some cute stuff. A lot of stuff that they have every year, like the sort of the witch hats that are feathery and some of the dog costumes and that sort of thing. Some of the things that I saw that I haven't seen before is one was like a garden stake and it just said wicked and I thought that was really cute. And then there was another one that was like a sign. And it said, witch trespassing. Violators will be used in, it, in the next brew. And it just had this really ugly, awesome looking witch on it. And like, she had like a cauldron. And like, I want to put that in front of my future house someday. Like, not even just Halloween time, like all the time. I want the children in the town to know that that's my house. <laughs> so that was definitely one of my favorite things in there. But yeah, they just had a ton of stuff. I think one of the things that they have that looked the best this year are actually their tombstones. So if you like tombstones, go to Dollarama because some years they look like crap. And this year I think they actually look quite good. Um, so I really like that. They have like sparkly writing on them, which I thought was weird. But I mean, it, it really could be worse. They looked overall very good. Uh, but other than that, they just had a lot of, like, skeleton creatures, um, little lights, a lot of their usual sort of very plastic-looking, like, I'm gonna call it party wear, because it's, like, serving bowls and stuff, but it's, like, very plastic. Um, cups, uh, stuff like that. I didn't bother getting any footage of the fall stuff, because it's just fall stuff, you know what I mean? And then I went into Winners, and they have a couple of Halloween things. So Winners and Home Sense are, like, the same company, so I once Home Sense has a ton. I know Winners isn't going to have a ton. Um, Winners had more than I expected them to because they had something, and I actually did buy one item. Let me grab it. We're opening it. It's like a present. So I already know what it is. So I bought this sign that says, "Never mind the witch. Beware of the cat," because that's very much so Lena and me. And I just thought it was cute. I wasn't going to buy it because I really don't need it, and I have nowhere to put it. But then the more I thought about it, the more I was like. I don't know. I started to have anxiety about other people having it and not me, and there was only one of them, so I bought it. And then I went to Bath & Body Works, and Bath & Body Works had pretty much all the same stuff they've had this whole time. They had all the candles. They had the bat holders. The one thing that they had that I haven't seen there before is the Chihuahua uh, wallflower. Uh, I think it's a wallflower, at least. It's like a Chihuahua dressed up as Dracula. I've seen that online, but... It was new to me because I hadn't seen this store before. They're still out of most of the wallflowers, to be honest. They have a ton of this year's spooky house. I'm assuming because it's so expensive, and it's not. I don't. I don't like this year's spooky house. I just think it's a little. T it's a little too colorful. If you're gonna do a haunted house, it's gotta look spookier. So I don't love it, but I think that's why they probably have so many because it's not the prettiest and it's a lot of money. So then after Bath and Body Works, I just went to Starbucks and then I went back to Home Sense and bought the witch. <laughs> Listen. I couldn't just leave her there. <laughs> there were only two of them. And I told myself the highest price I would go for her is $49.99. And she ended up being exactly $49.99. And I made a friend in my home sense. So I had to ask an employee to get her down for me because she was too high for me to reach. Um, so I found an employee. Actually, she found me. She just kind of ended up in my aisle and I asked her. And um, she wrapped her up in paper and everything to help me, like, take her home safely, and she was like, so you're like someone who's gonna like leave the witchy stuff up all year, right? And I was like, yeah, for sure. She was like, okay, same, same. I actually just bought a dog bed for my dog that was like a, that's like a Ouija board, and she was like explaining it to me, and I was like, I have a kindred spirit now at Home Sense. so when I go in there and look at things, she knows me now. She knows what I'm looking for, and I'm very identifiable, as you may, may or may, may not know, I'm in a bright green wheelchair, so now I have a friend at Home Sense. <laughs> unintentionally. Let me get the witch. Can I just turn you this way? That's better. Ugh. I think I broke her. Shit. I did. break her in the time it took me to get home. Lena, shut up for a second. 
How did I break her? All I did was take the city bus. And she was wrapped so well. So wait, you have to help Lena eat. She can't eat without you protecting her. She's broken. Anyway, this is her. Mm. I'm gonna have to go ask my stepdad to fix her. Did Zoe take care of you during dinner today? Did Zoe take care of you? Zoe, she wants to snuggle you. Come on. She just loves you. All right, so I think that's going to be it for this Halloween hunting video. We will pick up in probably two weeks' time with another one. But for now, that's all I've seen in stores. We will be continuing to be looking for Halloween stuff. I mean, honestly, if I could look for Halloween stuff all year long, I could, but you know, I can't. So i got to get, like, my year's worth of stuff in now. Um, my witch that broke is currently outside with super-duper glue um, holding her together. When she dries, she'll be back in my room. I will show you when that happens, but for now she's still outside. Thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure you give it a thumbs up and you subscribe if you have not subscribed already, and I will see you in my next video.